Are you thinking of visiting Milton Keynes? If so, stay tuned because I'm going to show you the best places to visit when you come. Stay to the end of the video where I will show you my favourite destination. I consider myself really lucky to live close to Milton Keynes and I've been working in Milton Keynes for over a decade and I frequently visit the city outside of work too. Getting around Milton Keynes is quick and easy. Most of the roads are dual carriageways and there's plenty of parking for cars. Bike friendly redways run through the city and you can hop onto a rental bike or rental scooter if you don't have your own bike. Plentiful underpasses mean you don't have to cross the roads very often. Milton Keynes has great shopping centres. As you can see, the Centre MK is currently in Christmas mode and it does a really good job of Christmas. Next to the shopping centre is the Theatre District. Here you'll find the theatre, gallery and loads of places to eat and drink. One of my favourite places to eat and drink is Hotel La Tour. On the 14th floor is a restaurant where you get an incredible view of the city and of Campbell Park. The food and drink there is also excellent. If you have kids and are looking for activities to do, why not try out sledging or skiing in the snow dome? And there's even a theme park in Milton Keynes called Gulliver's Land. Sadly, this was closed when I did my filming. Next to Gulliver's Land is Willan Lake, and that's great for water sports, walks or just playing in the playground. If you're feeling sporty, you can watch a football match at the MK Don Stadium. One of the best things about Milton Keynes is there's loads of open green spaces and lakes to walk around and to explore. But my favourite destination in Milton Keynes is the National Science Fiction Museum and Pixel Bunker. The museum holds lots of science fiction props and costumes from TV and Hollywood films. Pixel Bunker has lots of vintage arcade machines that you can play on for a fixed fee. So that's my summary of the top things Milton Keynes has to offer and I didn't even need to mention the concrete cows. Thank you, goodbye.